How to design a brand identity by creative market. You probably know that one of the most interesting projects that a graphic designer can take on is designing a logo. However, most of the time, a logo alone is not enough. Large organizations with layers of management require a thorough brand identity system that provides a unified vision and tools that help everyone build the brand. A brand or branding refers to the perceived image and subsequent emotional response to a company, its products and services. Identity describes the visual devices used to represent the company. Identity Systems is a visual components package that is paired with style guidelines and is used as a framework to ensure the corporate image is cohesive and consistent. The logo is the central identifiable visual element that helps customers discover, share, and remember a company's brand. It usually takes the form of an icon, mark, or symbol, logo type, or a combination of the two. There are five principles of effective logo design. It needs to be simple, memorable, timeless, versatile, appropriate. The creation of a brand identity can be divided into phases. Phase 1 Research, Vision and Design Brief This phase should be as thorough as required. It's the most crucial part of the overall process and should result in a design brief that guides the rest of the project. There are a couple of questions that will help you understand the brand more. How is the brand perceived compared to its competitors in the market? What is the positioning statement of your brand? Who is your audience? What values and beliefs should the brand have about the business? What benefits do you want customers to associate with your brand? The design brief. A design brief should contain summaries from the research phase, such as target audience, messaging objectives, values and mission of the brand, and the brand's products and services offered. Phase 2 Logo, Identity, and Guidelines The Logo Concept Get concepts down on paper and then expand on those ideas. This can unlock new directions for exploration and produce final solutions. Pick the best sketch concept and iterate on it digitally. The Identity System this usually starts after the loop is complete. The purpose of the identity system is to form a systematic visual language around the logo. The style guidelines. They contain and prescribe the logo's usage rules, typeface, color palette, layout guidelines, and more. They exist so that others can create design collateral and marketing materials that have a cohesive look and voice. Phase 3 Monitoring and Rebranding Regardless, over time, if your target audience shifts, the market evolves, or the brand's products and services change, it may be time for a rebranding. The main challenge with rebranding is trying to maintain familiarity and consistency so that your customers remember you. Hungry for more? Take a brand identity design class, delivered by our friend Courtney Alicio. She's a talented designer and produces brand identities in Seamless Creative. You'll find her class on Skillshare entitled Beyond the Logo, Craft a Brand Identity. If you want to learn more about this topic, please see our list of useful articles after the credits.